right, start that up. This should be an easy, easy enough game. Yeah, my god, I can't remember the last time we played someone who was physically worse than us. I think even in our own... Um, I think even in our own conference, there's a lot of teams that are better than us. But, uh, yeah, I guess we'll move on. <clears throat> Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Maryland Eastern Shore Hawks go up against the... Yeah, they're already 1-4, so... This is going to be a terrific matchup. Welcome, everyone. We're here at Memorial Gym. I'm Vern Lundquist with my partner, Bill Raftery. And our sideline reporter... I gotta say, the first seven games, games have already went swimmingly. In comp I think we were like 0-7, maybe 0-8 before we actually got a win. I have to look. We're filling up the stadium. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. That's cool. Being able to go to PWG shows all the time. Oh my god. He made the defense look like they were standing still. That's what athleticism brings you. An opportunity to break down the other side at will. There you go. Oh damn. That's all right. Zero. Dishes it to the corner. Takes it up. Can't come. <sighs> All right. I'm sure this college, this college sports game will be much nicer to me than the one a couple nights ago. I was going to stream last night, but I ended up falling asleep early because I had been tired. I had been woken up by a maintenance guy who was fixing the hole in my ceiling. Uh, it was right over the... Uh, one of the drain pipes to my neighbors upstairs and uh, as we found out whenever they took a shower the water draining from that pipe leaked onto my ceiling and ended up wearing a hole through my, through my ceiling it's kind of weird because it, it only did like a small part so I'm glad it didn't like collapse my whole damn ceiling it just put like a hole in it but Still, not not all that much fun. So they ended up fixing the pipe today, so now there's no more issue. Um, but they did. Uh, they'll be fixing the hole to uh, not tomorrow, sometime next week. So yeah. So the guy told me he was like, "All right, I'll be there around noon tomorrow." Well, it'll be today now, but. Yeah, and by noon he meant 10:30. <laughs> or well, he he didn't come to my door specifically at 10:30, but when you're clanging and banging on the goddamn bathroom ceiling above me at 10:30 in the morning, I still wake up to that. So I'm really glad I ended up falling asleep at like one. So I ended up getting a decent amount of sleep while they. <laughs> yeah, clanging and banging. That's exactly what I thought as soon as I said that. I'm like, oh boy. Clanging and banging and clanging and banging. <laughs> Number 54 backs him down. But yeah, uh, working on the pipes at 10.30 in the morning. It's like, I'm going to wake up to that. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson. Has some info for us. Ah, uh, fuck it. A little while ago, I talked with nice. Chris Wilson. He said these two teams complement each other so well, especially in the talent level of their respective players. He said he'd be surprised Shit. if either side is able to pull out too much of a big lead solely because they're so well matched. We'll see if he's right, Vern. Thank you, Tracy. Oh, nice damn. Last shot by Snyder. Moss inbound. Looks like a neat picture right you took from PWG. Left in the half. I heard there's like a whole, um... Rose. There's like a whole uh, etiquette that happens there. I remember seeing someone post a, a lengthy um, post about about the uh, etiquette for going to a PWG show. 
which basically boils down to don't be an asshole and clean up after yourself. <laughs> and get in the right line. May have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions. That gives them a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Backs in. Yeah. Shoots it. There you go. Damn. Shot was off the mark by Corrigan. That was that constitutes a. Well, I know there are people talking about the uh, the guy at the 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 guy who runs the Legion Hall. They were talking about him and the etiquette with him as well as other stuff. It was it was weird. I'd have to find the whole thing again and read it, but I don't know. That's what it boiled down to to me. It was like, uh, eh, don't be an asshole and don't leave a mess. Lobs it to the left side. Dumblauskas backs him down. Let's it go from the left. I could totally do post play like this whole damn time. I don't even I don't even care. Bringing the double team. Hit gets it out. They they don't got this. They don't want none. Bounce pass right wing. Okay. Oh, what happened? What happened? I don't know. Must have accidentally hit something on my controller. With the shot. It's the last thing I need is this to just go haywire on me again. Another Xbox. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. This is the good one too. This has got the shit on the hard drive because I got a big enough hard drive for it. Gets it to go, but they're still down by three. So the thing purrs like a kitten. I don't even hear it. As opposed to my old one where it just went... Constantly. I think I mentioned that multiple times during NCAA Basketball 10 because it had the most time trying to process that nonsense. The jumper was buried by Snyder. Grambling takes its first... Basically, don't talk to Legion Larry if you can help it. Ah. <laughs> Let's play some defense. We haven't been doing the best defense. I think our shot selection's been fine. Ball control's been fine. To be fair, I'm not 100% knowledgeable if this helps, but maybe it's like placebos where it actually does kind of help. Higgins takes the shot. Can't connect on the quick shot. That's the shot you work for, Bill, even though he's not their number one option. The defense will have to Damn it. show some respect because he will hit that. Given another chance, legit saw him kick a guy out of line for making jokes while he was walking through. Give him the three point chance. Huh. He can't complete the three point play. Moss passes it up court. Number five. Sounds grumpy to me. <laughs> Zero pulls it in. He'll want another shot with that much space. He I, I've heard, I heard a couple stories about Kevin Steen pissing him off when he was there. Usually a gimme for him is missed by Jones. But they're still out in front by seven. Lobs it up. Oh my god. We've got a track I don't think I've ever seen my team do that. A grumpy old vet. Yeah, I know how grumpy old vets work. I <laughs> work at the post office. The post office is like 70% grumpy old vets. Uh, there's one I had issues with. When I was still working downtown, guy who just just liked to yell at people over stupid shit, like his job was all that difficult. Gets the board inside, off target on the last layup. Moss did a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Feeds left wing, takes a three. Ah, why did he back up so far? Job on the defense to make him think about that shot. I'm not too keen on the fact that we're doing like this right now, but I mean we're only down by five, so I'm not too overly concerned right now. We have this tendency in these games to kind of like stick down for a little while, but then we'll eventually come back up and get past them. So I'm not too overly concerned. There's still plenty of basketball left. Jones. Yeah. Can't get the there we go. They still have a three-point lead. Number five dumps it off. They're going to double-team him. 
Out left. Throws it oh, up. damn. Yeah, I had my supervisor come into my workplace today and give me a um, uh, audit just to make sure I know how to do my uh, job correctly. Which I knew was coming at some point because it's been a few months. And they usually do it quarterly, so I'm not surprised, honestly. Dishes to the baseline. But, yeah, also wanted to tell me after our job discussion, because God forbid I call in twice in two and a half months. She wanted to tell me that she talked it over with one of the other supervisors, and they're not going to give me an official letter of warning. Which is good, because then I don't have to fight that, which I inevitably would. Because that's what's Back cool about the union is when they try to pull some crap on you like that, you can fight it. Oh, God damn it. There we go. So quickly that the easy deuce turned into a very tough shot. It's wow, there's no foul for that one. I love the D. Get it out of here. He's doubled up. Goes up. Oh, that's a foul. Are you kidding me with this? Oh, that was ridiculous. He can't come away with a three-point play. Wheeler passes way down court. Dumblauskas takes it up. Laid in with the D. Galco Chan. I need to watch more of that. It's really weird. I may end up not watching a lot of the major shows that I started until maybe towards the end, once we get to the end of a series. I think I'll have a better opportunity to watch that more so I don't have to I'll go super. Yeah, I mean, the major series is in like the 23 minute long, your basic length TV shows. I think the shorts and stuff I can fly through pretty quickly. I'm like five weeks behind, but that's like 40 minutes, so not much of anything there. Good on number two. Gonzalez inbound the ball. <clears throat> 248 left in the first half. From downtown. Boom. By Jim Blaskis. He's shooting 75% from downtown. Come on. Come on. Here comes the double team. And it's out of bounds. Right yeah. Down. That was fucking great. <laughs> the Tigers, a three would tie the game. There we go. Number five passes it to the right wing. Left wing. All right, let's see if I can't call for. Shit, where was it? There it is. I had to remember where on the D pad that shit was. Rose raises up. We're all tied up. And we're all tied up. 29. He's double teamed. Dumps it down low. But it's retrieved by Gerald. Jump. All right. We're on them like shit on Velcro. Takes it up. It's all right there. He's got a chance to add one more. Whoops. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Come on. Oh, we're in March now, so we're actually getting pretty close to the end of the college season. Last I knew, Iowa State was 13th. I don't know where they're at now, but I'll have to check. It's pretty good to know that the new coach is kind of keeping up the level of uh, play. I don't know if he'll do as good as the mayor, but we'll see. I do want to see where Iowa State is at now. Open that up. Iowa State basketball. As I let that load. And he makes the first. Oh, are they going to Kansas? Shit. He gets them both. Allen Fieldhouse. That's Kansas, isn't it? I think that's Kansas. Snyder. Bell beats it for 
side. Snyder launches it. Gonzalez yanks Here it we down go. The Tigers can take their first lead in a long time with a basket here. Backs him down. Force your way in. Right oh, wing. oh, Shoots. there you go. Reeled in by Doom Blaster. There we go. We got this. We got this. Oh yeah, he fucked that one. The last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. These guys are having trouble with fundamental team play, Vern. As that turnover shows you, they don't have much in the way of catching them. All right. Playing a two-three zone, Vern, trying to take away their low post and force some. Let's see if we can't get some more separation here. Dishes it to the wing. Rose shoots it. Rose has been on fire. We're just gonna heat check him. Passes it up court, and it's scooped. Oh my God. Terry Rose fucking killing it for us today. Come on, Copeland. Copeland's, I believe, one of the work, one of the guys from last year that wasn't. That's not great. But. He's actually still one of the better guys, I think. Oh shit! If he sunk that, I'd have fucking peed. Kansas, okay. Yeah. Lost to West Virginia. Lost to Baylor. Texas Tech. West Virginia. Texas A&M. Yeah, no, they beat Kansas at home, so that's good. They're down to twenty-first, which is fine. First ain't bad. George Niang's in his last year, though. Twenty-one and nine—that's not bad. Can't remember what last year's was. They did pretty good, though. I do remember that. Gonzalez inbounds it to start the second half. Lead pass inside. Goes up. Catches the I just realized 21 and 9. That's 30 games. That's pretty much it's pretty much end of the season. So this Kansas game is probably one of the first games of the uh, Big 12 tournament. Shit, that's what's going on. <laughs> Tyler falling behind. Damn, that was some nice defense. Oh, no foul. Who gives a shit? Get shit on. We still fucking got it. I'd say the only game sitting here is Kansas, so this is either the last game of the season or it's the start of the Big 12 tournament. Figured it would tell me if it was the Big 12 tournament, though. the three-point play. Dumblauskas inbounds the ball. Oh. The trigger. The second God, I hate that shot of his. He's got eight. Zero. Step back over the midcourt line. There, there we go, That's finally. Over and back violation. He just lost track of where he was on the floor, Vern. You have to be able to dribble with your head up or things like this happen. Has it on the elbow. Ah, Dumaskis, damn. But they're still up by nine. Stupid me for trying to figure out this information about Iowa State in the middle of a game. I think I got this anyway, but still. There we go. There we go. Get some separation. Still can't make it. God damn it. There's Copeland. Get get on your man. Dishes to the right. Damn. 
Damn. All right, all right. Inbounds the ball. It's five points. We're still up five. That's fine. Their interior defense. God. Tracy has a Stupid. Their bench. Coach Wilson is definitely aware of that problem. He told his assistants that they have to bring more defenders into the paint, even if it means leaving the perimeter open. Desperate measures here, Vern. Thanks, Tracy. Jones. Hits it from three-point line. <laughs> He's seven for 11 for the game. They're playing man to man here. All right, all right. Dumblauskas hands it off. Gonna fish a bunch in Black Desert. They'll come. Backs down. Damn it. Gonzalez there you go. Catches it right side. That last shot offline from 20. Last shot dropped there in. Go. Dude, I cannot wait for that three star and four star guy to come in. We could use some extra people. This is what I want. A three and a four star guy. And if you're chosen the economical strategy bit. Oh. You know, that's honestly one of the things that made me kind of want to get into Elite Dangerous. Like, I know there's a lot of mixed reviews about it, and I'd have to look into it further, but I do like the idea. Not so much of, like, doing the whole command the Starfleet thing or anything like that, but even just as something simple as, like, a space trucker. Maryland Eastern Shore is really struggling. Just kind of, like, moving and selling goods around to different places. I don't know, that seems kind of fun. 19 points, and he's his team's leading scorer. And I know they have actual truck simulators, but... Yeah, I think the space trucker thing would sound pretty cool. Not to mention that's a big, fat MMO. bring out some reserves. Okay, so this isn't quite the Big 12 tournament, it looks like. From what I'm seeing, this is their last game of the season. And it's against Kansas, all right. I see. Logan is on that donkey physical taking the distant cities for Dosh. Huh. Yeah, I like the idea of having a game like that where you can... Because I think EVE Online's big on that, too, where you don't have to, like, do, like, big wars or command cities or any of that crap. But you can just kind of be one person within a within a, uh, an economical system that you can just make your money doing something more leisurely. I mean, if you wanted to, you'd still have the option to become this, like, giant fucking commander and all that jazz, but, you know, something leisurely enough. Must produce NBC manufacturing team to mass produce beer and sell it on the market. Interesting. Something tells me you want me to start playing Black Desert. Well, let's get back to the action. Under eight minutes left in the second half. He's like talking about for his crazy for money. Okay. It looked very much like just about any like RPG style game. I wasn't 100% sure that it was an MMO. I didn't really know if it was or not, but didn't look like much, much more than just a different type of RPG. If it's an MMO, then it's kind of cool. But, you know, once again, I haven't really seen a whole bunch about the game, so. I don't really know what I'd be getting myself into. Dicey pass. I mostly go with worry because Elder Scrolls Online kind of burned me. It's not that Elder Scrolls Online was at like. Let me stream the combat bits during Head Start. Okay, because that's what made me kind of like weary about it it's like oh combat uh, combat rpg stuff okay i've seen this in a lot of different st things backs down come on come on uh, uh, get out of there get out of the key there you go gonzalez has it baseline ah i bet you i could have gone puts it up drains it from the low block there you go they increase their lead to 14 
Stolen away by oh! Left block. Nice lead pass, and the shot was good. Oh, this is our game to win now. Oh, they done fucked up now. If you've got the timeouts, you might as well use them. You can't take the got this. Oh, inbounds the ball. Zero dumps it off. Damn. And he'll have a chance for one more. Yeah, I like I like the idea of a game that's basically centered around like even like even not just trading, but like that's another thing that has started to draw me to possibly doing Elite Dangerous because like they also have like I don't know how the bounty hunting aspect would work as well. I bet you'd have to be pretty decently high level to try to do any good bounty hunting. But I do like the idea of <laughs> Basically going around like Lone Star and Barf from Spaceballs. <laughs> You're just in a fucking <laughs> a Winnebago. Just doing just doing trucking and bounty hunting. They now trail by eleven. And that could be then that could be how you become successful at the game. Let's it go. Damn. About five and a half minutes left in the second half. Well, I, okay. I need to stop, like, worrying too much about, like, double-teaming him or anything like that, because at this point, we have an 11-point lead. It's really just... It's honestly just kind of hang on and just make it work. There you go. Ah, okay. I don't need to be taking those shots, either. How about I not take those shots? And we'll get along much better. I also spent like half my day today watching um, another YouTuber that does these um, explain series of uh, horror genres and stuff. Uh, his name is Nightmind. That's the name of his channel. It's actually pretty cool because he did the full explain series of everything Marble Hornets. And then he did the whole thing on Everyman Hybrid. And then he did the whole explain series on um, Tribe 12. He just put that out like not too long ago. And all the lore and everything inside of it. So it's pretty sweet. Why do I keep taking the threes? Like, I guess I was much more open than I usually am, but I don't need to be taking threes anymore. Let me just keep it slow. Take take good shots when I got them. Goes to the crossover. There you go. There you go. Just bully him. Bully him. A couple of my friends also invited me to something tomorrow night. I forget what it is exactly. What did he say? Um, there's an unofficial Pokemon party at the Garden this Saturday. Would you like to go with me and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Yeah. I don't know what an unofficial Pokemon party is. But I do know what the Garden is. Uh, yeah, I don't know what the Pokemon party thing is. Here's the thing about that. Is the Garden in Des Moines is a gay bar. So, and the two friends I would be going with are very inherently not gay. And the garden doesn't exactly host stuff that would be very, like, super nerdy as far as I know. I don't know why they're inviting me to a gay bar for a Pokemon party. I don't know what the hell that's going to entail. But that's what they invited me to. And so I, being someone who doesn't have anything to do, was like, yeah, fuck it, why not? Let's see what a Pokemon party is at this gay bar. <laughs> I don't drink, really, so I'll bring my own car and I'll leave if anything gets awkward. Or just plain weird. This is coming from a guy who's been to a few anime conventions this last year. So, I've... Back in November, I was at an idol concert with a man dressed like a fucking magical girl. I wasn't with him, but he was next to me in the crowd. I don't even know his name. He just we just happened to chat in line because he was there, and why the fuck not? Lead pass to the middle, but it's tracked down by Eldridge. Rose 
So I'll make sure to report on my <laughs> on my <laughs> gay bar Pokemon party findings. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm in store for. <laughs> Still out in front by 10. Eldridge. I'm imagining something as bad as what this other place in Des Moines used to do. There was a place that was really cool, and I really hate the fact that they took it down. It was like a dinner theater type thing, but not like not like dinner theater, like dinner and a show, but it was it was a theater, but with tables and stuff. Like it's like a, a theater, but with restaurant tables and all that. It was really cool. I loved it. And they used to do wrestling pay-per-views, like every month. I went and saw pretty much all the wrestling pay-per-views. Um... At this place. It was called Billy Joe's Picture Show. I saw my very first live pay per view there. Like, I, I wasn't live in the arena, but that was the first time I'd ever seen a pay per view live. Was at Billy Joe's Picture Show for one night, for ECW One Night Stand 2005. I didn't know a whole lot about many of the ECW guys, but I decided, eh, this seems like fun. And it was. It was a hell of a lot of fun. It was probably the most fun at a at a at that wrestling pay per view thing that I'd ever been to because the ECW fans are just so much more insane than the ones that went to the WWE pay per views. <laughs> they were drunk and entertaining. <laughs> and the best part is, is um, during the middle of that one night stand pay per view, um, we had a tornado. Because it's Iowa in June, that's what happens, is you get tornadoes. <laughs> so what happened was there was a tornado warning that cut out the pay-per-view cable. It cut out the cable and the feed to the pay-per-view during the Benoit Guerrero match. And we missed pretty much, that was all we pretty much missed was the Benoit Guerrero match. And I remember for 15, 20 minutes, we just, there was a bunch of us standing outside while it was pouring down rain. Tornado sirens are going off. And this drunk dude is shirtless, yelling out in the, just standing in the rain, soaking wet, just going, get me back my fucking ACW. <laughs> It was great. <laughs> my my buddy that I went with, um, his mom was concerned that they were going to serve us beer or attempt to serve us alcohol, despite the fact that I don't think either of us had any money, really. Um, and we were both 14, but I think her concern was that we were... Because I was, I've always been tall. So even when I was like 14, I was like six one. So he's like, they look like adults, and I can tell you, I most certainly didn't really look much like an adult. Um, braces tend to tend to remove the adulthood from you. Um, but yeah, she was still concerned about that and like talked to whoever to make sure that we weren't served alcohol, which I didn't give a crap. Oh, is that it already? Jesus. Yeah. No, we won by a good margin. Didn't even notice. I knew we've been winning, so. Now let's go back to Greg Gumble with today's version. Yeah, shirtless, <laughs> shirtless drunk guy standing in the middle of a tornado warning. Because that's what. Because that's another thing we do in Iowa is we don't go into the basements. We stand outside on the back porch and start filming. That's kind of how Iowans react to. I'd say I'd say not just Iowans, but like people in Nebraska or Missouri or Kansas or Oklahoma. When we hear tornado sirens, we don't head for the basement. We whip out our cameras. <laughs> That's exactly what my dad used to do. <laughs> we heard the tornado sirens, and like as a kid, I didn't understand. So I was like, Dad, what are you doing on the back porch? He's like, look at that cloud. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so drunk guy yelling at a tornado siren <laughs> and yelling up at the storm to get the fuck out of here and give me back my fucking ECW was just gold <laughs> um okay this is gonna be a pain in the ass isn't it that's alright 
I already did my recruiting, so I don't have to worry about that till after this game. But yeah, um, going to that Billy Joe's Picture Show was great. There, there was a really long tirade I wanted to go on this. Either way, uh, yeah, that Billy Joe's Picture Show, every month, I think it was like once a month, I think it was like either the first or last Saturday of the month, at midnight, they always did a midnight, scr a midnight showing of um, Rocky Horror Picture Show. And I never went to those, and I always told those were insane to go to because it was a bunch of like teenagers and young adults dressed up as the Rocky Horror Picture Show characters and they would sing and dance to the all the songs when it would come on ah damn it so yeah that's 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 part of what like I think when I'm thinking like oh an unofficial Pokemon party in a gay bar I wonder if it'll be anything like anything like Bill like Rocky Horror Picture Show night at Billy Joe's where everyone's just fucking Pokemon out and I don't even know if it means like the video games or the cards or what the hell it's gonna be like like that's like that's a Pokemon party what the fuck. You've got to be a little more heads Did up the new him. one? I mean, they just got announced, so I'm assuming they're not coming out for a little bit. Moss inbounds the ball. I don't know. I don't know how Nintendo's thing works. Is if they announce something and then like three days later it's on, it, it's like on sale. But the anniversary? Oh yeah, duh. Forgot about the anniversary. That's right. The game's first there we go. 20th anniversary, yeah. Just seems weird that it would happen at, a, at the at the gay bar. At one of the gay bars that we have. Because we have two barcades in Des Moines. You'd assume one of those would be the, the host of a... We got two barcades. I don't... Seems weird, but... Eh. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wilson. Wow. Yeah, that place is really so fun to go to. I can't remember if I watched any Manias out there. It was a lot of the lesser shows. I think Mania was something that we reserved for uh, a friend's house. Chris Hero continues to be your least favorite wrestler in PWG. I didn't mind him when he was in NXT. I haven't seen much of him since he left NXT, other than him getting fat. And apparently wrestled for like three hours. Yeah, I fucking loved Cassius Ono. That's the odd thing. That's the really odd thing about William Regal, is he'll come back for some... I, that's the one thing I loved about William Regal is he's always he's this like permanently semi-retired wrestler, where he's retired, but if somebody comes and he, um, like if if somebody comes around for him to fight, it's usually someone really good, like Cassius Ono, Cesaro, and Dean Ambrose, or I think the three most recent. Um, yeah, we'll do defense. Chris Hero is a pander and fat Chris Hero phones it in. Makes sense. Do you think Chris Hero might have just been waiting for something in Japan? He might have... It, it, uh, he does work for Noah, doesn't he? Maybe he was expecting, like, New Japan to come calling. Something bigger. Gave him room to get it off. Mainly because they prefer the long three over him driving it in. Moss passes it up court. Rose dishes it to the right. There we go. They narrow it to five. Just over it was before he went to WWE anyway. It's just a fallback. Huh. Zero takes it up. Fouled hard and he'll take a trip to the line. Maybe he's just... Maybe it's just... <laughs> He got big because of the depression from being let go. 
Knocks down the first one. <sighs> the Tigers will bring out some reserves. It's not like uh, as much as I would like feel bad for Chris Hero, he really doesn't have anyone to blame himself for that shit. I wonder how much different it would be if they had the if they came out with like the uh, performance center like a year earlier. If it had been a thing where he would have been able to stay in like really good shape. We're the last ones to touch it, and they'll turn it over. You have to make a better pass than that. You just can't chuck it. Or if he just didn't care in the first place. Both hands on it. inbounds the ball. Boom! Ah, oh, that was stupid. Oh well. Under nine minutes left in the half. We're fine. We're still we're still keeping up with him. Straight to the layup by Shelton. He's got two. I had two problems in the weight thing was only a small part. I imagine part of it seemed to be he didn't really want to I think well, it might be part of the attitude thing with not adapting to the style. He still had a fun style, but it seemed like he had something a little bit different. Maybe they weren't a big fan of that either. Oh well. I don't really think too much about Chris Hero. <laughs> They're gonna stick with them all the way up the floor in the full court. Man to man. Behind the arc. Pulled in by There we go. They still have a seven point lead. Backs him down. Stolen by one. Damn it. It's one on one. Picked him clean. Well the game's reign of terror is PWG champion. He sees things that others don't. That sounds very Triple H of him. <laughs> is he the current PWG champion or is someone else the PWG champion? Multi year reign? Jesus. Didn't he do that shit in Chikara too? Roddy. Okay. Wasn't he like a multi-year champion? And oh no, that was um, he wasn't champion. It was uh, he was just uh, facing facing uh, Quackenbush a lot, if I remember right. I can't remember. Let's see here. Inside. Ah, uh, not the greatest idea. Yeah. Hey, we're getting up there. Making it work. That's all we gotta do is make it work. Ah, uh, there we go. We got this. We got this. Fuck off, Washington. We got this. Damn. Okay. All right. That's fine. Just one. That is just one. Boom. There we go. Take that lead. Stick it on defense. Come on. We got this. Oh. Any day now. Any day now. What are we waiting on? What are we waiting on? There you go. Inbounds the ball. The Huskies will try to end this run. It wasn't until Roddy's match I realized how much he was phoning it in. Dumblauskis, way up court. There we go. Hooked away, but it's recovered by Grambling. That's a good look. Perfect there you go. By Higgins. They're ahead, 18 to Keep 15. this, keep this going. <clears throat> Here comes the double team. Number 34 oh. on the perimeter. Burrell for three. Dendrick snatches the rebound. We can get this. We can get this. Backs down. 
Oh, good. Good. Look at that. Puts it up. The baseline J is hit by Dandridge. And they now go up by five. People just booing their asses off for this. This is amazing. Dumps it to the paint. Number 34. Shoots the turnaround. Swish. Damn. Okay. They draw to within three. Higgins, Let's see if we can't bully our way in here a little bit. Here we go. They're out in front by five. Can't believe how well we're doing this right now. Washington is really struggling. The Huskies call time. The Huskies will get a few of their starters back in the game. Number 34 inbounds the ball. Off the oh, inbound. God damn it. The layup was tossed in by Zero. Imagine that it was Kyle, Kyle O'Reilly versus Marty Skrull. Nice. I need to see, like, Marty Skrull, like, wrestle more. Like, at least as his, as his more recent character. Dicey pass. Number 34 corrals the miss inside. Ah. Gently in. Grambling calls time. This girl did a cattle mutilation too. Well, nice. To he seems like he's really to deal with making a pretty big name for himself now. Substitutions because that gives him a pretty inexperienced lineup out there. Hell of a lot better. He seems like he's doing a hell of a lot better than when he was on fucking TNA for that short little bit. Tosses it up court. There's nothing he can do but shake his head on that one and move on. And they now trail by one. Dumblowski. Swear to God, TNA is like the best place to go in your early career to find out just how talented you are when you decide not to be anything that TNA made you be. It's blocked. Get it out of there, big fella. You have to protect the lane, and that time they tried to. For every like EC3 story of like, look at this underrated guy that we made amazing. There's a Marty Skrull or a Okada or a Tanahashi or a Young Bucks. It's good. Nice offensive rebound. Now all knotted up. Osprey. Was Osprey in TNA, or did he just do like a one-off on like one of those X Division pay-per-views? Here's the double team. Because I know, um, uh, what was it? Andrew Everett did something like that too. He did one taping. There we go. They dragged their feet on signing him. <laughs> of course they did. But it's recovered by Upshaw. Zero. You gotta you gotta save that money for Bobby fucking Lashley. Where are they getting money again all of a sudden? I thought they were bouncing checks all the time. Now they're trying to move like big money to try to get like they were trying to get AJ Styles back. They got big money to try to get James Storm back. Like they wanted Styles and and Anderson and them to Come in, like what were they expecting to get out of having them? It's like you had Styles and Anderson, or Styles and Gallows before. Like I don't think Anderson would have made a huge difference to your money, other than the fact that they made a bigger name for themselves after they left you. Pop deal, I guess. Doesn't seem like Pop has all that much money to give them, though. I mean, we're talking about we're talking about a TV network that like puts that reruns of that '70s show on their front page as one of their featured programming. Both teams will make some substitutions. Number 33 inbounds the ball. Shoots. Oh, damn. 
That was a nice shot. All right, that's fine. We, we were starting to lose a little bit here. But we're still, we're still with it. We're still in this. Don't worry, we're still in the, in the heart of this. There we go. Retaliation three. It's owned by CBS, so they're maybe they give them the channel a push. Oh, I didn't even know it was owned by CBS. Hands it off. Upshot from the right block. They're up 35 to 33. Three second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. I heard CBS is going to be making a new Star Trek. I'm sure that'll be terrible. Like, I'm just hoping CBS doesn't turn Star Trek into what they've turned all their damn shows into. Ah. I remember someone making the joke that they would end up turning Star Trek into like in, into basically a, a even nerdier Big Bang Theory man would that suck we're all set to begin the second half so let's get back into it <laughs> I remember seeing something. I think it was like an Instagram video or something. It was very short. I think it was a Twitter video. And this guy had like, um, I think I had like retweeted it at one point where he um, did a like a camera recording of just a small scene from Big Bang Theory. <laughs> I think it was, uh, I can't remember his name, Jewish guy. Um, I know that doesn't narrow it down, but the really Jewish guy, not the one who was in Roseanne, the other Jewish guy, <laughs> he, he, um, I remember him saying something like, oh, we're going to have a Game of Thrones inspired death match of, of, uh, Transformers versus BattleBots or some shit like that. And people started laughing and the guy's just like, fuck you. Where's the joke? He just said things. There's no point. Uh, I'll admit I like Big Bang Theory at first and then they just kind of rehashed a lot of the same jokes and I'm just like eh, they're nerdy get it it's basically how memes are yeah they were their own they became their own memes like Sheldon became just Bazinga generator that's all he was there he's, he's there to Bazinga and then make the audience go yay like in Pee Wee's Playhouse, that's just the word of the day. Like, Bazinga. Yeah! Oh, I know that phrase slash reference. Yeah, that really is like... Like when he says, like, oh, Game of Thrones aspired death match of... It's like, what the fuck does that mean? What the... There's nothing there that means anything. You're just, you're just throwing references up against a wall and saying, okay, we're going to mishmash all of these references with each other. And we'll try to make it work. I remember their early series. I don't know if they still do it, but I remember their early series. They had a behind-the-scenes thing where they were, um, where they were showcasing um, the fact that when they were doing scientific-type scenes with a lot of like scientific terms and such, they had uh, an actual um, physicist that was part of the behind the scenes of the show to make sure that it was scientifically accurate. I mean, we're talking like first season right there. I don't know if they do that shit anymore. Now they don't really need to. What was... There was a show that CBS had that was inherently terrible. Charlie Sheen was in it. I can't even remember. Uh, anger management, I think it was called. I don't remember much about it other than the fact that like he was banned from CBS, and then the next thing I know, they pumped out like 90 episodes of anger management. 
that he starred in. Which anger management was basically two and a half men without the kid. Oh my god. Ah, take it. There we go. We're still here. We're still alive. And he leads all in scoring. Zero dumps it to the paint. No good in the last layup by Upshaw. It's tipped. But it's oh the shit! There you go. There you go. Take advantage of the four on five. Damn. Oh. Eat my dick. Ah. They tried to sneak one through on him. The big guy has spoken. Goes up. The layup was finished by number 33. And they're now out in front by one. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Burn. Hit him in. Backs down. That last 15 footer was no good. The break is on. Come on. There you go. Pay, I think they were expecting uh, an alley oop there, and I don't think it quite worked. Damn it. All right, we're good. We're good. It's still good. It's still good. We're still fine. We're still in this. There we go. Come on. Back him up. Bully him. Okay, we can't bully him. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. Time it. Time, 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 time. Play some defense. I should be putting ball control as well, but I think defense needs to play a little bit bigger part here. Uh, maybe I should have picked ball control. God damn it. We're fine. Everything's fine. Bounce pass to the free throw line. Wow. Okay. The D was too late to react. By that time, he had already stuffed it home. Dendrick backs him down. It's deflected, but it's tracked down by Grambling. Gonzalez raises up. Oh, my God. It doesn't help that we're missing that. That was a nice tip back. They narrow it to five. Sorry. I, I, I feel like I got to concentrate now. It's like, oh, my God. Okay. We had control. Now we've lost control. Now we need to... Regain that control a little bit. But they're still up by five. There you go. There you go. Gonzalez hands it off. Backs in. There you go. Find a guy to bully. Passes it to the right side. Oh my God, Gonzalez! God damn it! Don't do that. Fucking make those shots, man. If you got an open shot, you fucking drain that shit. Damn it. Just move on. Let's go. Didn't sit for long, and he's coming back into the ball game. Higgins inbounds the ball. The Tigers are really struggling. Dishes to the right wing. Dendry backs down. From downtown. Come on. Damn it. And that's his third rebound of the now game. we're failing. Now we're not getting our shit straight. There you go. That's how we're going to get this. Passes it to the left wing. Higgins has it baseline. Rose. There you go. Oh, Rose, man. Come on. You can't be fucking up like this. You can't be missing those clutch shots. That can't be happening. God damn it. I fucking hit the... <sighs> I don't know what happened. My finger must have slipped off of the goddamn right bumper because I meant to icon pass. And he ended up sidestepping right the fuck out of bounds like an idiot. Now I gotta play defense extra good, which isn't gonna happen because my team is just collapsing on me. Come on, guys. There you go. We got it. We got it. Oh, he made that work. Zero. All right, eight points. It's only eight points. We got him. We can make something happen. Goes up. 
You know, if he gets by us like that, we can't really do anything about it. We can't really cut into this lead a little bit. I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait to use my... Um, whatever, yeah, the extra little boost to help me out here. Gorgeous pass. Number 33 catches it on the low block. <sighs> them fouls, man. Them fouls are not good. Did you see Sonny go off on edging Christian? I did not. I don't know what happened with Sonny and edging Christian. Sounds like it was probably delightful and mildly coked up. Alright. There we go. Needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. He gets them both. <sighs> okay. Still got a shot. They're going to double team him. Pass. Top of the key. Andrew from 20 feet mm, out. Good. Damn. They now have a double digit lead. The Tigers with some abysmal stats. Yeah, Gets I know. Our stats suck. Damn. Okay. Well, we still got the foul, so I'll take it. I will take it. Knocks down the first one. All right. All right. He gets the second to fall as well. All right. Um. Can we shove him back a little bit? No, all right, you're just Zero. not going to help. Lead pass to the baseline. Damn. Okay. Passes to the left. I forgot how small our team actually down. is. I to bank it, but it's no good. But they're still out in front by 8. Can we bully him? Yeah, we don't need to bully him. Number No, actually do. We need to bully him. Our shooting has just been abysmal the second half especially. Andrew has Our defense is finally starting to kind of get its head out of its butt and trying to make jumper something work, but the shot. misses the jumper. They've still got an eight point lead. We need to kind of force Back's our down. way in there because I think that's the only way we're really gonna make this work. God dude, we are not still making anything game. anymore and I'm not happy match. about that. Andrew from deep calls in the board. Jesus Christ guys, come on. Fucking make it work like we have been. Oh my god, he couldn't make that either. Dude, this is some shit right here. This is some shit we've normally been able to do. And I'm afraid to fucking contest the shot anymore, because they're just blowing a whistle on just damn near anything anymore. There you go. But they're still behind. Sean Lenore gave me a joke about sunny drops, which side effects include DUIs and Andrew fake cancer. Sonny goes off on Picks Twitter saying they want to have sex with her. They want to have sex with her back in the 90s. They're in front, 66 to 57. That sounds like it would be true, yeah. And it's honestly one of those things that, like, Edge could... One of them could easily come back and be like, yep, that was true. That was also 20 years ago. 20 years and about 70 pounds ago. Sunny was hot in the fucking 90s, man. There's a reason she was AOL's number one most searched term of, like, 1997. Off target on the first. God, I fucking... I forget all about AOL. Connects on number two, and that stretches their lead to eight. Before there were bookmarks, there were AOL keywords. Passes it to the wing. Moss hands it off. No, I wanted a fucking pump fake, but I'm actually quite surprised that wasn't a foul either. Dude, get get down the court. Get down the court. Fuck me. Dude, they they can't make shit. Our team just fucking collapsed at the end, man. We couldn't make shit. I mean, I opened all the opportunities for them. Damn it. Shelton catches it right side. 
Well, if it's coming from Sonny, it means two things, jack and shit. <laughs> this is coming from someone who fucking will masturbate on Skype for like a hundred bucks. At this point, I don't even care. My guys missed so many key shots. Dude, there were so many key shots that they made earlier in the game, and then they just failed. I'm not too angry, though. I know it sounds like I'm kind of upset, but honestly, I'm just... I'm just disappointed. <laughs> I'm, I'm just disappointed, because I feel like we had a really good chance. We had them. We had them for a little bit, and then... Shit happens, and we missed a lot of key shots. A lot of key shots that I feel were easily makeable. So I don't really even. I'm throwing that. One, I'm throwing that game into the fucking waste bin and just forgetting about it because there's nothing I can really say about it other than I wish that would have gone a hell of a lot better. And I think it should have. And I don't know why my guys lost lost their fucking cool at the end there in that second half I need to get something to drink So, recruiting. I'm not going to worry too much about that game. It irritated me, but... Blech. I think we still have enough to go scout his game. Alright. We'll give it to him. Still the only person. That's really weird. I think because junior college, they, not too many people are interested in junior colleges. That's what I'm going to think. Yeah, we just lost to Washington, but we'll still grab one of these guys. Yale, 12 and 2. It's pretty odd. Is Yale that good? Yale's alright. Probably don't have a lot of um, people, a lot of good people that they're facing. I mean, to be honest, well, they're still not in there. They're doing pretty good for non conference games. Huh. Oh well. I forget who was all in the Ivy League. If you're a big school at Kansas, no need for JUCO players. Yeah. I could use JUCO players for a couple of years. Not a big deal. As long as they're good and help our team for a little bit. <laughs> I got nothing against JUCO players. It helps I got A-plus recruiting as well. All right, boys. Let's see how we can how we can do against them. Nope. All right. Good shot. Good shot. To be fair, we did put against Washington. Didn't quite go the way I'd hoped it would, but not all that bad. This is one of the last games we have as far as non-conference go, isn't it? We are like what four and three or five and four? I forget. Thank you, Tracy. baseline jumper. Damn. Number fifty gets the rebound. Yale's gonna play Harvard. Everyone's that makes the NCAA tourney. Oh, that's cool. 
Yeah, I didn't even realize until like an hour ago that <clears throat> they're Iowa State's getting ready to face Kansas for their last game of the season and then hopefully get into the Big 12 tournament with some momentum. Right wing, tosses it up. Rose yanks it down inside. Gonna love how he ripped down the offensive So we'll see how well that works out. Dixon passes it up court. Dishes, right wing. Sears has it right wing. Takes it up. Eee, there we go. Not exactly how I wanted it to go, but that's all right. Gets the second to fall as well. All right. About ten and a half minutes left in the half. Right wing. Let's try to back him down. Oh, we can kind of bully him a little bit. From the right block. There we go. I'll there take it. Front, six to four. It's an Iowa State ranked 18th. I think I just read they were like 21st. So they're doing all right. Bounces it to the high post. I think they'll end up a couple spots down from where they were last year. But then again, last year was their like big chance to possibly make it to the Final Four. And they just kind of... Fucked it all up, so. There we go. Oh, good. Good, 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 good. That's not the kind of teamwork you like to see out there. They need to get on the same page. Moss inbounds the ball. About nine and a half minutes left in the half. From deep. Nothing but net. Nice. This is working out very well for us. Here comes the double team. Coach Jones. Let's hope we can force him across the other side so when he decided to come back the other way, we could kind of abuse that. Try to force him to go back court. That's all right. I still need to download all those Pathfinder PDFs. Um, that's going to be something I'll have to like look at. Jesus Christ. Alright, we're still fine. Cleans the defensive boards. The Tigers with a chance for a double digit lead. No good on that last shot. Five doom blast. There we go. Up and in on that last layup. We're doing it. We're what a way to <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. I don't know why. Like, I just drank a bunch of water, so I should still have a voice, but... Maybe it's my incessant talking. Here we go. That's my voice in the first match. I think that happened at the last Raw I went to. Shit. Both teams are going to shake things up a little bit. I forget which stops. Raw in particular that was. It was in like September. Sears I remember that. We had pretty good seats. It looks like they're playing man -man. I really, really, really wanted to go last year in the lead up to Mania. Would have seen Sting. Hadn't right. seen Sting since like the That's 90s when I went to a Nitro event. <clears throat> from downtown. In oh right shit. There you go. Oh, come on. Tell me that's not goaltending. You tell me that's not goaltending. I've seen I've seen less make it. So they'll retain possession. I think there might be some sort of event in Des Moines here coming soon too. I'd have to look. I thought there was. Uh, this is probably time to do a point of emphasis. Uh, what should we do? Um, let's stick on defense. They're getting set to inbound the ball. Six. 
Sears inbounds the ball. Okay. NXT live event results included a worse than Big Show chant. I really want to know who in NXT got a worse than Big Show chant. Can I, can I assume Eva Marie? Yep, even more. Part of me thought Baron Corbin, and then I'm like, no, Rob Brooklyn did a, or NX Takeover Brooklyn did a pretty good job of showing that Baron Corbin can actually wrestle. Yeah, that that was Eva. Sarah Lee. Nixon dumps it to the paint. Now, oh, God. Dishes to the top of the key. Goes <laughs> We're kicking their ass so hard that I just kind of like decided to like check my phone. Just like, hey, okay, let me see this live event schedule. <laughs> I'm like moving my characters around with one hand, checking my cell phone the next. It's 20 to 4. <laughs> I think we might be okay for now. But knowing me, I'll screw this up somehow. Number 23 gets it right corner. Leaves it up and in. But they still trail by 14. Oh, God, they're doing a... Uh, um, the ball. Just over six minutes left in the WWE half. Live in Moline, which is not exactly this Iowa. From downtown, the offensive rebound. It's, I mean, it's technically Illinois, but it's right on the other side of the Iowa. Some point in the 90s, Big Show was decent, yeah. Big Show could do a kip up and a drop kick. <laughs> Smackdown, that's what's coming to Wells Fargo here in Des Moines. May 10th. I don't know if I want to go to a Smackdown. Then again, you never know what's going to happen. By I think maybe I'll make the choice sometime after WrestleMania. Who knows what Smackdown will look like when May 10th comes around. Maybe I can get close enough to like <laughs> start like a Mauro Ranallo chant. Get better match quality. Yeah, good point. Probably get to see AJ Styles wrestle. <clears throat> that might be worth it to see AJ Styles wrestle. Be like, yeah, fuck it. I haven't had the chance to see AJ Styles wrestle live. The one time, the one time TNA has put on a show um, anywhere close to me. Um, I mean, they've been to Iowa a couple of times, but like the last time they were ever in Des Moines was, um, I think it was in 2006. It was a couple weeks before a Hard Justice pay-per-view. Might have been even 2007. It might have been before that big Samoa Joe Kurt Angle hard justice match. <clears throat> and they were in Des Moines, and I was in Florida at the time, which I hated. I hated the fact that I was actually like an hour away from Orlando at the time, and that's when TNA was actually in Des Moines. I hate that. That always happens. Like stuff that I want to go to is always. It's always when I'm at it when I'm out of town. Like the one TNA event that's ever really happened in Iowa was when I was in Orlando, where TNA could be, and then I was in Oklahoma when Raw, leading up to WrestleMania, was here in Des Moines, and I wasn't able to go to that. Dumblauskas backs in, tosses it up, sticks it from 14 feet. They was the TNA, him and Daniels are pretty good. <sighs> Number twenty. I guess the only saving grace I really had was being able to say that I at least saw like CM Punk in his early like WWE years on ECW Live. I saw Chris Benoit like a month before he died. Live. That was interesting. Forces the hell ball, and the arrow pointing to the defense. 
Nice play to force the turnover. Wheeler inbounds the ball. Here we go. Let's see this he here. Right side. He's doubled up. Turner passes inside. Wheeler with the shot. Oh my god, how did he not get that? Still a 16 point lead. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Try not to cough and sniffle in the mic, and yet I'm still doing it anyway. It was hit by number one. But they're still behind by 13. All right, 1730. That's not terrible, but I really wish we were doing a hell of a lot better against him. Unloads. It falls short. See, I hate the fact that we're missing these really easy shots. I'm really not a fan of that. Montague, nice little crossover. Uh, okay. Number twenty has it out left. If they leave a shooter like him open next time, believe me. WWE CW is complete garbage. Yeah. Turner backs in. Comes up empty from nine Jesus Christ, this is getting ridiculous. They're going to catch the fuck back up because of this. Oh, yeah, I remember me and a buddy went went to, went to I think it was like a SmackDown. And at the time, they were also doing that stupid NXT Redemption crap. And like Chavo Guerrero was wrestling on it. And me and a bunch of dudes in our section started a Chavo Guerrero chant while he was on the apron. And he was like trying to get us to stop. He knows he can make it. Montague bounces it to the right side. Come on. Dumps it down low. It's stolen by Dumblaskus. All right. Let's let's get this shit back under control. And Tracy has a report from their bench. Coach Jones was looking pretty frustrated, Vern. He just turned to his I forget who I was seeing in that NXT Redemption crap. Just going to roll over at game time. We'll see if they pick up the intensity. All right, Tracy. Great move, and it's canned by Sherrod. He's got two. 54 seconds left in the first half. Dublowskis nope. dumps it off. Gonzalez hits the layup. There go. Chavo's ahead. doing pretty good at Lucha. That's cool. <laughs> Hernandez, not so much. <laughs> Montague pulls the trigger. Can't hit the shot off the glass. His interior there we go. Game isn't strong enough to overcome their defense down low. Fires. The three was drained by number five. By six. All right. Whoop. Wasn't paying attention nearly enough. Skips it to the corner. Dish, top of the key. Number 20 puts it up. Can't return the favor with his own cool. three. First half comes to an end with the score 37 to 21. I will take it. Half, we don't see some improvement soon, this could be Four for eight. Of 18 re do We tripled the amount of rebounds they have so far. We are looking like a team out there. Yale's going to about to go 12 and 3. We're all set to begin the second half. But I won't I won't try to get too confident cuz that always leads to me losing. On a very regular basis, that always leads to me losing, so maybe not, maybe not wave my dick around too much right now. Nice work, Tracy. Moss backs him down, catches it on the elbow, throws it up. There we go. Nice. Who the hell was even on NXT Redemption? I think Titus O'Neil won it. I think Byron Saxton might have been in there at some point. Oh, God, yes. Okay. Yeah, because they had uh, Maxine. Um, they had this, like, uh... This like little rectangle, this like love square rectangle, whatever you want to call it. That's that's when Johnny Curtis was fucking awesome. 
when he was creepy Johnny Curtis, creeping on Caitlyn, sniffing her hair. Maxine was his girlfriend, or pseudo-girlfriend, and Derek Bateman was there. And him and Caitlyn, quote-unquote, had a thing where it was like, ah, oh, they're kind of weird and nerdy with each other. It's like, ah, come on. For three, Moss hauls it in. There we go. That's his fourth rebound thus far. When a shot um, like that comes around, go. you've got to hit it. They just dared That's him right. to shoot. I specifically remember Johnny Curtis being a fucking weirdo on NXT Redemption. I think Tamina was in there too. Because I think like, I think like the primetime players pseudo feuded. Well, even before they were the primetime players, it was. Darren Young and Titus O'Neil like fighting over Tamina. I remember that. I think it was like um I think like Titus O'Neil bought her like a coconut tree or something. I wanna say that's what that what it was. It was it was like a coconut tree. It's fucking weird. I remember at one point Tyler Rex and uh Kurt Hawkins um kidnapped Matt Stryker. And left him in a broom closet. Here's the spin move. That was that was a thing that happened as well. <laughs> Number 20 gets it out left. That last 18 footer was off the mark. Well, the defense should realize they got lucky on that one. He'll drill that shot nine out of ten times. Moss backs down. His first shot. Oh my god. Okay, that wasn't the greatest, but that's fine. We'll do okay. People were fighting over left. Tamina. <laughs> yeah. Titus O'Neil bought her a goddamn coconut tree. I do remember that. You don't see a coconut tree because it was just a seed planted in a giant potted plant. So he was just going to give her a giant pot with dirt and say it was a coconut tree. It's probably what it really just was, but in the story, that's what he was going to give her. And I think Derek, Darren Young like took it from her and gave it to her. Beats it to the top of the key. Last tray off the mark by Dixon. And then yeah, said, Will you be my mommy? Because I think you're old and enough to be. Has something for us on that. that last part totally Jones didn't happen, but it probably should have. More effectively without the ball so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his guys, if you get to the open spot on the floor, I know you can hit that shot. Vern? Thanks, All right. Um all time. Well, let's get back to the action. Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Cool. Sears. In oh, I think I had that. I think I had that, but that's all right. Bounces it to the left side. Number 23 pulls it in. Number 23 is having a hard time getting Damn a it. shot to go, Vern. You just hope it doesn't wreck his confidence, but it's hard to see how it would... Balls. Um. Damn. He's one for three for the game. The finger roll was laid in by number five. He's got seven. Right around eight minutes left in the second. Man, I'm. As much as I enjoy basketball, I am just all basketballed out today. Between watching a basketball anime and now playing this game. The Bulldogs are really struggling. <laughs> I'm, I'm all sorts of ready to be. Ah, fuck off. That's an over and back well, I see enough time to do a gay angle. Well, the gay thing came out well after NXT. So, that's probably the one reason why. Otherwise, it probably would have been like Darren Young hitting on Johnny Curtis while Johnny Curtis was trying to hit on Caitlyn. Takes a three. I'm surprised that they've managed to not do a gay angle already with him. Like, they make, like, like subtle hints, which are fine. Because it's like, you make, you make, like, hints to the whole thing, and that's that's funny. Like, a bunch of tongue-in-cheek humor about it without actually saying it is fine. But they're still down by 24. I think it'd be different if they were... Doing like the gold dust angle, but instead of our truth, it was Darren Young. Good job on the layup by number twenty. Nine points, and he's the top scorer for his team. 
That might be slightly Turner worse. Oh, good. Turner's not completely useless. He can he can he can hit a wide open layup. That's good. I'm glad. But it's recovered by number 23. Roddy kept calling Zach Zaber Jr. a faggot tonight. What is it about PWG that tends to bring out actual personality in people? Turner from the free throw line. It's odd. It to fall. And they're now out in front by 26. They're going to stick with them all the way up the floor in the full court. Man, man. Roddy's a goddamn block of wood in Ring of Honor. But then he comes to PWG and he's fucking great. Adam Cole's the same way. I mean, he was okay in Ring of Honor, but... PWG Adam Cole is fan fucking tastic. Down inside by Dandridge. He attacked it with everything he had, but it still wasn't enough. Good defense, not letting him jam it home. Misfired. Yeah, I figured. By Higgins. Yale is really PWG struggling. versions of everybody, oh, he yeah. He has to knock that shot down. PWG just Skips brings out the, the it's <laughs> stolen by number 5. PWG Dandridge is like the I don't give Turner. a fuck. Promotion. I think that's what it is. Is their whole? They're built around all the wrestlers, like just just going out there to have fun. O'Reilly and Davy Richards team with Joey Ryan as Team Sleaze. Dixon lets it go. Misses the three-pointer. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Pulls up. Ah, not a great idea. That still worked. He's one for three for the game. Just over five minutes. Why would O'Reilly and Davy Richards team with him as Team Sleaze? Seems odd. The Tigers are making substitutions. Because when I think of Kyle O'Reilly and Davy Richards, I don't exactly think Sleaze. Beats it to the left block. Got teamed up for some random reason. <laughs> Good point. Cameron backs him down. Why do I not remember Cameron? He must be like a lower, lower guy on my team. Oh, we almost had that. Damn it. Has had serious problems with their interior defense. I think someone had mentioned <laughs> that the that I can't remember. It was like I think it was on one of the older videos or something, or one of the more recent ones from like this year. They had mentioned that like <laughs> Grambling wasn't an all-black team anymore. <laughs> I don't know what that had to do with anything, <laughs> but <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was kind of funny. Number five. It's like, what does that have to do with anything? Pulled in by Shabazz, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. They dressed up as Joey Ryan. Oh my God, that'd have been great if they just like, just like, uh, like took like a glue stick and just like glue sticked body hair onto themselves. Dixon gets it right wing. Like nothing, Max nothing Dan. too permanent, like hot glue or anything. But you know, just just a regular glue stick. Better yet, if they did that mid-match. Do you think? Do you imagine the kind of pop they would get if, like, mid-match, they just threw, just brought up glue sticks, just started scribbling glue on themselves, and then and then just like stuck body hair on them. They're leading 63 to 33. Sears. I do remember the thing with um, ACH and Kenny Omega doing the. Um, Stone Cold Steve Austin and The Rock thing. Because some guy, like, wore his, like, Stone Cold Steve Austin vest to the, um, to the, uh, event. This is getting almost ridiculous here. Left wing, number one, shoots good from three point range. He's Grammy shooting is historically all black college. Ah. Well, it is southern Louisiana. Backs in, if backs I remember right. Wing. Down it's like a low tier Bayou College. Releases. Hacked on the way up, and he'll get two shots. Oh my god, is that Davey Richards? Oh, that is. I almost couldn't recognize him, but with the fact that he's actually got facial hair. 
I just always assumed he had a permanent 5 o'clock shadow. Just not used to Davey wearing trunks instead of tights. <laughs> and bright colors for that matter. Trunks, tights, bright colors. I remember Kevin Steen and PWG dressing like the fucking Young Bucks. That might be the fucking greatest thing I've ever seen. Kevin Steen with the fucking pants and the jacket and just dressing up like a Young Buck. It's like a library here, Vern. We need some excitement to get this crowd going. Good look by number five. By 31. <laughs> Everyone's different in PWG except Joey Ryan. Joey Ryan will always be Joey Ryan. I heard they're doing something different with Joey Ryan in Lucha Underground. Like, I heard he's not supposed to technically be Joey Ryan. Like, it's a guy pretending to be Joey Ryan. That's what I heard. Good on number two. Here we go. Wheeler inbounds the ball. Dendridge goes oh, up. Oh, damn. Technical wizard Joey Ryan. God, that sucked. Yale is really struggling. Is that like an old school? <laughs> Like an old school Joey Ryan thing. He's a secret cop in Lucha. That's what I heard. I didn't want to like give away anything away because I didn't know about anything like that. But I had heard he was supposed to be an undercover cop, Joey Ryan, which is phenomenal in my mind. Connects on the baseline jumper. They're up seventy-three to thirty-nine. 103 left in the game. Why am I still like double teaming? I don't need to double team. I'm up by like 34 goddamn points. It was one of the early gimmicks. He brought it back for a few months. Ah. That reminds me of, um, oh god, what was it? Juggalo Championship Wrestling. I remember seeing someone had posted like a full video of it. I didn't watch the whole thing, but Colt Cabana played a heel in Juggalo Championship Wrestling as Officer Colt Cabana. I remember seeing that. And people were legitimately booing him too as Officer Colt Cabana. Vampire is a god awful color announcer. Wheeler dumps it off. Cameron shoots it I watched that match with um Vampire and Pentagon Jr. Number twenty with the shot. There's the hole. It was an interesting it was an interesting match. I mean Vampiro did everything did did what he could for a very much older and mu very, very much more out of shape Vampiro. Now let's go back to Greg Gumbel with today's version of the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Thanks, Vern. Welcome, everyone. All right. Cole go around threatening to confiscate all the weed. <laughs> Just amazing. <laughs> All right, solid win against Yale. I got a Ball State game and a Syracuse game. Might as well see what the Ball State game looks like. Seventy-three. All right, we got a really good chance then. So, oh yeah, didn't I pick Syracuse because we beat them in the NIT tournament last year, quote unquote? I mean, it won't show in this game, but we beat them last year. I believe that's why I picked Syracuse last <laughs> in in our rotate in our uh, non-conference games. So two non-conference games, and then a conference game, and then we get into our conference games. One and thirteen looks like it's going to be a phenomenal start. Three and six, two and six, zero oh and seven. Oh my God! Six and four. <laughs> 
Ah, yes, shitty logo, Miss Mississippi Valley State. That's right. Two and thirteen, zero oh and seven, five and five, three and nine. I cannot wait. <laughs> one even phenomenal, like like one even remotely decent team is in here. Anybody else? Oh my god, I can't wait. That is just failure on top of failure. Six and four though, that's that's pretty good for a start. Like I said, I think I was like 0 and 8 before I got my first win. Like I th I don't think we went into I think we only had like two, maybe three wins going into um going into the conference games last year. So I'm seeing seven, potentially eight this next year or this year so that'll be pretty good um well, let me go ahead and save this because I don't remember if it's saved or not and that will definitely do it for this uh for you guys here for the stream I do appreciate you guys coming out um I don't know if I'm going to do anything else after this. I could play the bigs, but I'm not really interested in doing that. I think I got some other stuff I kind of want to do off stream that I'm that I want to work on and kind of have some fun with and um not not anything in particular that I think is stream worthy. Rokubu. <laughs> it's actually not more Rokubu. <laughs> Since I already finished the first season in the OVA, I think I've had enough Rokubu for one day. I swear to God, the fact that I have a season of Rokubu on my anime list is... It, I'm on a government watch list somewhere. People are, like, watching my internet habits now. He watched all of Rokubu, season one, and gave it an eight. Clearly, he needs to be watched. Uh, all right. I think this is just about it then. I mean, I guess there might be something else Xbox wise, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm at least going to stop the recording for this. So anyone watching this on YouTube, I thank you very much for watching this and uh, being a part of this. And I hope you guys uh, watch again when I post.